Welcome if you kiss. We're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with at the moment using the grace cards and nature's whispers oracle cards and Osho Zen Tarot. Alrighty, let's get into it. Okay, so let's move these over here. If you kiss three cards for a few kiss, please. First one out onto the floor. Second one out onto the floor. Okay. Third one out on the table. Thank you. Okay, a few kiss. First up, we have peace. It says, when we balance silence with activity, we discover true peace of mind, the source of all joy and happiness. Love that. Okay, next one is faith. I love this. She's like, meh. Psh, faith? Meh. <laughs> Have faith. Every event we experience and every person we meet has been put in our path for a reason. And the next one here is soul. Practice good soul care. The quality of our outer life is always dependent on on the quality of care we give to our soul. So true, Afuka, so true. Hmm, this is interesting. A very interesting energy here. Two cards for peace for Afuka, please. When we balance silence with activity, we discover true peace of mind, the source of all joy and happiness. Okay, so the first card out here is a leap of faith. Okay. There's something here, if you could that I feel like, especially with the faith card coming up here, I feel like some of you are not feeling very supported. And um, it feels as though, sort of like walking on it really, We'll see here how she's walking on this rope here, right? Walking up here, there's this, this safety net beneath her. And um, here's the thing that I'm getting from this, is that I feel like you have everything you need to take this leap of faith, if you kiss, but you feel like it's not enough to catch you if you fall. Because this... The safety net and the rope that she's walking on are webs. And so you know um, how delicate a web is, right? The other thing is, I feel like there's this fear of getting caught in a web of some sort. And maybe this is what this faith card is about here of talking about every event and person we experience, we sorry, every person we meet has been put in our path for a reason. Every experience and person we meet. Gosh, I couldn't even get that out. Yeah, so I just wonder if something has gone on for you. But the thing is, I feel as though you are supported and it's, it's this sort of lack of um, faith in that. Because maybe in the past it hasn't worked out the way you thought it would. But two cards for Leap of Faith for a few kiss, please. Two cards of Leap of Faith for a few kiss. There it is. First card out is Patience. Patience, yes. Here's the thing, right? When I'm thinking about a, a, a spider making its web, it takes time. It takes patience. It takes patience to nurture something, right? It also takes faith. It's like when you plant a seed of a um, of a flower, for example. You plant that seed with the faith that it's going to grow. Yeah? 
and I feel like this is sort of this, there's this need for surrender here. Okay, and we have traveling here. Mm -mm. Traveling. This is, this could be, it could be a trip that you're going on, a few kiss, but it's the same with this here. There's, I think there's a fear because you feel like you're doing it on your own. And the fact of the matter is that, okay, sorry, I just have to go back to this here because I'm seeing the sunshine behind her and this is walking towards this, this sunshine here. <clears throat> and I feel like for Ifukas, you know you're going towards something good, but you're just, um, it, you know, it could be that holding that faith that it's going to be good is difficult because you're traveling the hard road and it's it it's tough terrain and it's it's potentially a lonely road for some of you because you're walking it alone right um and it's not easy it's definitely not easy and it feels like so far away i have a feeling that it may feel like you've been walking this road for such a long time when are you ever going to get to you know, the place that you want to be. So I want to say, remember, we've got patience here as well, but I do want to say here a few kiss, is that I get that, I get that, it feels like it's never ending. I suppose it's looking at the now and what's going on for you right now. What can you learn from that? You know, because when we are always reaching for something in the future, we're not living in the now, we're not appreciating what's going on for us. And so there'll be certain experiences and people that we meet that we encounter all the time along the way because we're always going towards something instead of actually <clears throat> learning what we need to learn from what is going on for us in the now. Okay. Amplify your emotions. These are your positive emotions, right? The peace. The peace here, right? See this person here. They're traveling the path, right? They're walking it, and they're walking it in silence, okay? When we balance silence with activity, we discover true peace of mind, right? So that's, that's the thing of being fully aware of what it is that you are actioning in your life. Hmm. Amplify your positive emotions. Yeah, because they will have a ripple effect. They'll have a ripple effect that will go out way beyond and they'll keep rippling when you don't even think about them anymore. You know, you could be then laying in bed asleep and they're still rippling out. So amplify those because that's going to bring more of that to you. Okay, two cards for amplify your positive emotions, please. We've got the source here. I don't think I'm meant to take that card. Okay, this one, oh, we were, it's gone back now, but it was slowing down. I was just seeing if there was a message for it. But let's get stuck into these and I'll see if it comes through or not. Um, the source, yes, you see, this is the source with this, this piece, with this, going into this piece is tapping into the source, the source of who you truly are, which is the source, the light, right? You are the light, you are of the light here, if you kiss, and, um, and when you get into that space, this is the ripple effect that we want to be emitting out into the world, okay? Um, this here, laziness, you see this, if you can imagine, say like, you know, this person wants to go to the beach and hang out, right? Um, they're sitting here imagining that they are at the beach. They're in their kitchen, but they're actually acting as if. And I feel like this is going to help promote these positive emotions for you, if you kiss, okay? So very, very important that even though you may not, be where you want to be right now to hold on to the emotion that you will experience when you get there because then your path along the way will bring you more of that all right 
and it will make the journey a lot less harrowing. Okay, so faith. Have faith in every event. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, sorry. I say that wrong. I don't know why I'm saying it wrong. Two cards for have faith. <clears throat> for a few kiss, please. Have faith. Every event we experience and every person we meet has been put in our path for a reason. Yes, good or bad. They are there for a reason. They are there to teach us things. And um, and that can be hard sometimes. That can be really hard to accept um, because sometimes it's just easier to point the finger and go, well, they this and they that. But, you know, and sh you know it's okay to have a vent. Um, but try not to sit in that and try to see what is it I need to learn here. What is it? you know, in me that is is um, vibrating at that same level as that person, you know. Um, there will always be something to learn, but that I'm not saying that whatever happens is all your fault, okay. Um, but there's always something to learn for you, okay. And sometimes maybe it's learning to walk away, you know. Faith. Two cards for faith for a fucus, please. Tell me more about this for a fucus. Faith. Is that there? Yes. <clears throat> I don't know what it is yet. One more card for faith for a fucus. There it is. Okay. I just love the expression on her face, though. Like, have faith. Why would I do that? Anyway. Illumination. Illumination, yep. Seeing things that you can't see, seeing things that are hidden. Have faith that you will be shown. Have faith that you will come to understand or come to see what the truth is. Okay, the truth for yourself. The truth for yourself. Two cards for illumination for a fucus, please. Okay. Projections and schizophrenia. Mm. Mm. This could be about you becoming more aware of yourself more aware of, you know, when we look at the amplifying the positive emotions, if we're amplifying the positive emotions to bring more of that in, when we're feeling negative emotions, what are we bringing in? More of that. You know, really being aware of yourself, okay, because you can't control anyone else, right? You can only control yourself, your reaction, your emotions, right? Um, and so... Given that, be aware, if you guess, of what it is that, that you're projecting, okay? And see how that could be bringing things into your life that match that energy, okay? okay? There's a decision here that you need to make about something, and it could be very well about a person. There's some sort of conflict going on here with somebody, Either that or it could be conflict internally for some of you and you're not quite sure which way to go on it. And this is why I say focus on the reason. Focus on what you can learn, okay? And have a look throughout your life if you could to see if this has been a repeating pattern, different person, maybe different circumstance, but potentially there's a thread of similarity throughout, okay? Hope and happiness, love this. Yes, see, this is what you're aiming towards, right? This is what we all want. And yet there's this sort of frustration of it not, yeah, it's kind of like, it's like, have faith that hope and happiness you know, is achievable, and it's like, really? Is it, though? Yes, it actually is, because it comes from in here. 
It comes from in here. It doesn't come from anywhere else externally other than in here. And so when you get to this place of peace, this is where all this other rubbish that goes on on the outside, it's easier to dissolve. Okay? And it's easier to deal with. It doesn't mean to say it won't affect you. But you can always come back here. Home. Okay, two cards for hope and happiness for a few of us, please. We have morality here. Yep, this is keeping caged in. Keeping caged in um, with these emotions that are not serving you. Oh, there's three cards that came out. Um, due to this kind of thing right due to this energy here of of hanging in the balance okay of, of sort of um i feel like tolerating in a sense maybe tolerating things that you don't need to tolerate and some of you may actually feel stuck right now that you can't um get out of this energy because the energy is always there and that could be from another person I want you to still try and go within, okay? Because the answers are there as to what you need to do. All right? You are the creator of your world, if you kiss. You have all the answers within you. It may not feel like it, and it may not seem like it, but that hope and happiness is achievable. It's a matter of creating it, okay? And keep walking the path. Keep walking the path towards it. Letting go. Letting go of the things that do not serve you. You see, here's the ripple effect again. But this is letting go of those, those negative things, negative people. Okay, there's always a way. There is always a way. All right, and amplifying these positive emotions. So that this is what you get more of. Okay, so soul soul okay so two cards for soul for a few kiss please practice good soul care yes and this is going to get you to this piece right um the quality of our outer life is always dependent on the quality of care we give to our soul yeah so if the outer life is this this is showing you how you're not caring for yourself okay so too many cards falling out there Okay, so two cards for soul for a few kiss, please. No, nope. they just fell out like I'm butterfingers today. <laughs> okay, two cards for a few kiss for soul, please. There you are. Excellent. Okay, so we have higher ground here <clears throat> I feel like there's sort of a need to get away like almost a need to go on a retreat or have a weekend or even a day for you to be pampered in some shape or form to do things that you really love to do you know even if it's just simply getting out of nature right if you don't have the funds to go and get a massage and go and get your hair done or whatever, right, then out in nature, spending time with people that you like, spending time with people who um, who lift you up, right, taking care of you and saying to people, saying to those who really have your back, I need a day for me. Can you come and, and spend that with me, you know, to make it about you? Because you don't. You feel like, mm, I couldn't do that. But you, you need to. I feel like you need to. Okay? See, this is the thing about this, you know, um, balance silence with activity. Yeah, doing things to silently give yourself the soul care that you need. Okay, higher ground. Two cards for higher ground for a few kiss, please. Yeah, that will lift you up. That will definitely lift your energy up. Yeah, okay, there's the slowing down card. Love it. 
Okay. I don't know why I keep shuffling there. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. So see this here, the slowing down card. We've got three cards here, but that's cool. Um, we've got this intensity and this, there's this need for you to slow down because what it feels like to me is this intensity is internal and it just feels like this um, sort of anxiety, I'd say, um, which might not be quite right, but it's kind of like um, just this always feeling like you can't settle, like there's not the peace within you. And there's, it's, it feels like there's always this striving to find that. Meditation would absolutely be helpful for you, if you kiss. I always harp on about it. It works for me. You might find yoga. You might um, find um, qigong or tai chi. Um, you know, have a look around and see what works for you. Try different things out, okay? Um, and maybe it's a day of doing that, and that will help lift your energy okay um, and talking about planting the flower before here it is growing right lifting you to a higher ground okay so this is what happens when we take good care of our soul you know not just our body but our soul okay so and we also have inner voice here and this is going to help this inner voice to um it's going to help to clear everything so that the inner voice can come out and speak all right, now the next card we have here is perfect setting. Yeah, and this is what I feel like. Really think about how you can take good care of your soul. All right, plan it. Do it like you would for a friend. If you had a friend who needed this care, you would go, you know, over, like actually bend over backwards, right, to do that for them. Do this for yourself. Okay, so two cards for perfect setting, please, for a fucus. The other thing I want to say about this perfect setting, a fucus, is that sometimes um, we can have an expectation of what perfect is, but um, it's, it never seems to quite reach there. And... Um, I think it's sometimes a matter of seeing the beauty around you in the small things you know there we go that's how we like it right this the small things like it like a flower you know and actually seeing how perfect things are anyway how perfect you are anyway because you are of the light right you are from the source you're the creator of your own life like that's powerful man you know, that's powerful. And we've got these cards here to show you who you are. So we have celebration. Yes, yeah, see, getting out with friends, having fun. Okay, not worrying about what other people think. Going on some sort of adventure. Yeah, because your inner child also needs this too. Not just you, the adult, not just your soul, but your inner child as well. Okay, so get those people around you who have your back 100% like you do theirs and go on an adventure, have some fun. Okay, because um, it, it, you know, there is no, it's like, oh, I'll just wait till, you know, it's the right time and it's the perfect time. It's like, do it, just do it. There is never going to be a perfect time, ever. Okay, so if you don't do it now, you won't ever do it and do it for you. Because this is what you deserve a few kiss. Okay. So yeah. I'm going to leave that with you. Go have some fun. Dance in the rain. If it's raining. You know. But yeah. Go go, go find the, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. You know. Go do those things that as a kid you used to love doing. Making my pies and playing hide and seek and all those things. Why not? Why not? You know? So, yeah. Okay, Fucus, I will leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.